this drug, dexamethasone, reduced the risk of dying by about one third for people who are on breathing machines, ventilators, and about one fifth for people who didn't need the breathing machines but did need oxygen in hospital. Those are big effects for an important disease. So there's this distinction, if you like, between the early phase and the later phase. What we've seen today is for patients who need oxygen, for patients who need uh, machines to help them breathe, those patients, their chances of survival would be improved if they took dexamethasone. We closed that arm of the trial on Monday the 8th of June because we had enrolled more than 2,000 patients on dexamethasone and we compared them to 4,000 patients who had standard of care. And what we saw was really quite remarkable. Um, so we've looked at different treatment groups and the drug has a different treatment effect in different treatment groups. So in, in ventilated patients with COVID-19, the drug dexamethasone, so 10 days of treatment with that, which is a tablet or, or an injection, uh, reduces the risk of death by about 35%. In patients on the ward who require oxygen and have COVID, it reduces the risk of death by about 20%. That covers about 75% of patients in the hospital who will receive a mortality benefit from using this drug. It really is showing quite a significant effect. Um, and it's really important because the drug itself is very widely available. It's on almost every pharmacy shelf in every hospital. It's available throughout the world and it's extremely cheap. So we've looked at the numbers and if we treat eight patients in intensive care with this drug, um, we'll save one life. And the total cost of treating all eight patients is only about £40. So this is really, really remarkable and we're extremely pleased with it.